Oh, look. There he goes. Go get you. Go get you. Go get you. Is that a... Yeah, it's a yeah, guillotine. It's a guillotine. Hmm. Ah. Didn't know they were French. Do you honestly think you're fu- Could you be any louder? Ah! <laughs> You, you really trying to trap yourself, dude? I had never noticed it before. I was wondering if it would go off if you stepped on it. <laughs> oh, f uh, slide! Animal facts that zookeepers might not want to tell you. Or zoos, animal secrets that zoos don't want you to know. So, um... I know about the secrets of Disneyland. You know, there. have you seen that? The secrets of Disneyland? I've seen, like one or two things here and there. I don't know exactly well, what you mean, though. here. All the secrets of Disneyland. Here we go. There are... Here we are. These are the 15 secrets that I originally saw back in the day. Uh, wait. Here we are. The Haunted Mansion uh, actually features a working elevator. Uh, damn it. No, 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 no. Secrets and hidden details. Damn it. Uh, hold on. Disneyland Secrets Pictures. Okay. So... There are, uh, there are some secrets of, see, because it's, uh, it's stuff that you wouldn't think about, but thinking about it, would be like, huh, that's actually really cool. For instance, like, on the train, when you first enter Disneyland, you can actually ask to sit in the conductor's seat, which means they will take you up to the front of the train, and you will sit at in the engine of the train, and if you ask, you actually can, like, toot the whistle. So, pretty cool. I would say that's secret for a good reason, because otherwise, if that starts to become common knowledge, everybody's gonna ask to do that. Well, yes and no, because there are some days where they don't let you do that. But it just depends on how they're feeling that day. Uh, another secret is uh, in the uh, Alice in Wonderland teacups ride, you know the ones with like the spinning teacups and all that. Sit in the purple one. It has a fa it has a looser uh, it has a looser belt on it and spins faster. Uh, then another so one. In other words, the secret for me is definitely don't sit in that one. If for some stupid reason I do decide to ride that because I can't do rides like that or I'll puke on everybody. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, oh. Because, you know, car sickness, it translates extra to rides that just go in circles. <laughs> fair, fair, fair. <laughs> uh, another secret. Uh, the uh, There's actually a hidden alleyway that you can uh, go go down. Uh, I think it's in the, uh, in like the, uh, like, I forget which section it's in, but it's in the one what that ha features Sleeping Beauty. And if you go down this back alley, there will be a golden apple on a perch. If you reach up and you touch the apple, you will hear the Evil Queen's laugh from Snow White. And if you look up in the window above you to the right, she will be there and she'll peer out at you from the curtain. And then she'll close the curtain and go back in. <laughs> it's it, it's the little things that you'd never think of. It's a, Okay, here, I think maybe this is it. Oh, uh, Small World is one of the longest rides in the park. Da 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 da. Uh, inspired by the National Park. Yeah, I doubt that's it. Sounds just like fun facts about it. So try Disneyland hidden details. The light that never goes. Out. This is it. This is it. There's a the light that never goes out. There's a light up in Walt Disney's old office that never goes out because uh, they used to turn it off at the end of every uh, in every work day after Walt Disney died. They don't anymore because, you know, he's still there in spirit. Fastest spin teacup. Uh, the lavender color, purple one. Spins the fastest. 
Listen carefully. Throughout the park, the sound effects that are played a set in the scene. For example, the train station in New Orleans Square, if you listen carefully, you can hear Walt Disney's opening day speech playing out in Morse code. <laughs> Interesting. Club 33. That's the other one that I read about. Exclusive club number 33. Uh, this is the only place in the entire park that sells alcohol, but the waiting list is around 10 years. So the initial membership is $25,000, then $10,000 a year after that. Yeah, fuck that. I know. Uh, take a deep... Yeah, that one. So oh, in other yeah. words, there's a there super secret rich people club deep in Disneyland. So it's while waiting in line for Snow White's Scary Adventure, be sure to rub the brass apple around the, above the spell book. You'll hear thunder, crack, and the evil witch cackling. Real tombstones. Yes, there are real real tombstones in the Haunted Mansion. Uh, the Indiana Jones sign. It's like, do not pull. If you pull it, you'll hear someone scream and crash down at the bottom of, uh, of a well. Uh, the Matterhorn Court. Uh, let's see. Ping pong table. Uh, oh, yeah. This is where they, they do that during their breaks. Baby care room. Go away green. Let's see. Edible plants. Oh, yeah. That's right. The plants are actually edible in Tomorrowland. Oh, yeah. Disney's birthday. Uh, the evil queen. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> the evil queen appears in the window. <clears throat> free coffee. Uh, as long as you keep your cup, you can get free, refil free refills throughout the day. So don't throw your cup away, everybody. If only coffee was something I actually wanted to drink at an amusement park. Mm -hmm. It's usually freaking hot when you go to an amusement park. Ah, the disappearing moon. Uh, if you, uh, in the blue bayou, right, if you look up, you'll see a shooting star, and the moon appears, disappears, and then reappears. Uh, the rebel spy. Oh, this is a, uh, if you sit down on the star tours, right, and pull, uh, pull a funny face and look at the screen, you'll be cast as the rebel spy. <laughs> That's funny. World of color. Uh, the World of Color ride, a look for the solitary orange flash. The flash is supposed to represent the spirit of Walt Disney. Uh, left line to the Matterhorn. Uh, it's a little bit longer. Okay. Stay dry on Splash Mountain. Okay. Seat number four. you uh, That's where you get the least wet. Chat with Goofy. Uh, there's other ones that they didn't list on here. For instance, in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride... There is one set of bones left in that ride that are actually still human bones. It's the one at the headdress of the bed. Uh, in the headdress of the bed, there is a skull and crossbones. Those are actual bones that were left over from a old uh, from an old medical hospital that just sold them. And now for something completely different: animal secrets that zoos do not want you to know by Casual Geographic. Let's go. Sounds so slightly dangerous. Might not want to tell you. Zebras are one of the most responsible for injuries to zookeepers because they're wildly unpredictable and overall assholes. Life can really go from <laughs> zero to kicked in the chest if you're around one. And the hand reared ones are the worst because people think they're wild horses when really they're demon donkeys that'll crack your ribs and bite off your hand unprovoked. In a place with lions, bears, and gators, your biggest op could be a pissed off Oreo horse. If you work with foxes, your social life will suffer. Not only do they smell horrible, but the smell of fox feet sticks to hair, clothes, and skin and lasts weeks, no matter how hard or long you scrub. Getting R. Kelly by a fox is a great way to make people avoid you like a real one. Rhinos are the world's Jeez. biggest and most dangerous puppies. White rhinos will eat out of your hand and they love being scratched for a 5,000 pound armor truck with legs that have the personality of a Labrador. With Aww. ducks, you never want to have more males than females. As a rule, you need 4 to 6 males for every female because if you don't, the males will get aggressive and jump the female. I couldn't find the TikTok, but basically she was saying a female duck lost her eye because during a particularly violent session, Ooh. one of the males got impatient and ripped her eyeball out. Jesus. And since it usually happens in water, multiple males could possibly drown the female. If it is in water, they could break her bones. Animal secret zookeepers might not want to tell you part two. Anteaters are way meaner than they get credit for, and sometimes they'll just snap and take a life for no reason. Like, even jaguars would hesitate to attack them because they're really only one swing away from being a memory. One anteater mauled a zookeeper so badly that she had severe liver, stomach, and lung damage. And she died. You watch your back Damn. if you're in his hood. Tortoises are jaw-droppingly stupid. If you leave a bucket around them, they will 100% try to make babies with it, and they'll <laughs> even give the treatment to an extra curvy boulder. Orangutans are evil pickpocketing geniuses that'll steal items of importance and only return them in exchange for food. <laughs> Sometimes they'll even break up the object and hand it back piece by piece in order to extort more food, which is unfortunate if they steal your phone, and even worse if they steal an animal like an opossum. It's oh, happy. Jesus. This isn't a secret, but if you've oh, ever seen a zoo... Oh, no. Oh. Oh. 
peeper cleaning an enclosure and you jokingly said something like, I wonder what animal that is, I can guarantee you that day you got silently cursed down in ways you didn't even know possible. Giraffes can seriously mess you up out Wait, of nowhere. What? Males fight for I've seen a zookeeper phone and even worse if they steal an animal like an opossum. It's happened. This isn't a secret, but if you've ever seen a zookeeper cleaning an enclosure and you jokingly said something like, I wonder what animal that is, oh. I can guarantee you that day you got silently cursed down in ways you didn't even know possible. Yeah, it's the equivalent of being like, oh, it didn't scan. I think guess it's free. And I'm just like, no, I wish I was free to punch you in the face right now because <laughs> like, I'm so fucking tired of hearing that. It was funny the first 9,000 times some asshole said it to me, but I've been working retail for 10 years and you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> Out of nowhere, males fight for females by necking, and it's exactly what it sounds like. Sometimes they'll take a swing at keepers not paying attention just to be a dick, and if they connect, they will send you flying. The one day they're not nice is the day someone gets put on CNN. Animal fact zookeepers might not want to tell you, part three. Koalas are teddy bears with the personality of a chainsaw, and if you have to carry an animal out of its enclosure, you'd have an easier time manhandling a crocodile. They claw, they bite, and they are dicks to other animals. <laughs> Do not be fooled by the cuteness of the koala hanging in the tree. It will end you. They got some Every fucked up teeth, Every time a keeper picks up, their health insurance goes up. Aquariums will have captive breeding programs for dolphins, but since they're difficult to transport for mating, they'll use artificial insemination. Meaning someone gets paid to give Flipper a happy ending and collect the baby maker. The dolphins are so smart, they'll recognize whose job it is, and when they see them, they'll roll over and present themselves. If you irritate a member of the Camelidae family, like llamas, alpacas, vicuñas, and of course camels, they don't just spit on you. Zookeepers just say it's spit so you don't totally freak out. What they actually do is regurgitate the content of their stomach, mix it with saliva, and launch it in the face of whoever's annoying them. Piss one off and they'll basically grass, project like, on half eaten grass all over you and they'll carry you to do something about it. Out of yeah. all the rappers, turkey vultures are one of the most affectionate and they'll form strong emotional bonds with their keepers. They'll follow Aww. their favorite around, greet them when they enter the enclosure, and even play with their socks and shoes. If you ignore the fact that they smell like an open casket in July, they're actually pretty cool. Animal <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> now I'm gonna tell you. Meerkats are the spawn of Satan and they conduct themselves as such. If you know anyone who's ever worked with meerkats, ask them to show you their scars. I guarantee you they have them. They are, no exaggeration, the most homicidal mammals on the planet that aren't human. Oh yeah. If a zoo announces the death of one of their meerkats and they say it was due to natural causes, it's way more likely that one just straight up murdered another. They're also one of the I mean, that's natural. Yeah, yeah, that is natural. Like, them, they'll think they're cute and cuddly and try to feed them by hand. That's do exactly not. How you you will lose a finger. And you woke up with. Most keepers understand their animals so well that they have no problem being in the same enclosure as tigers, leopards, and bears. But there's one animal that seems to universally scare everyone. Ironically, cassowaries are shy and introverted in nature. Oh. And sometimes these hell turkeys decide to catch a body. They are one of the most dangerously unpredictable animals you'll ever be around. Oh, yeah. Most zoos won't even let It's basically the equivalent of going in a cage with a velociraptor. Yes. With a big freaking like bone like mohawk that it headbutts you with. Story exhibits without at least two others keeping watch. And they often go in with an attack shield in case this Satan Tweety gets ideas. Orangutans are smart enough to get people fired. In Omaha <laughs> Zoo, <laughs> That's not surprising. Orangutans are probably one of the smarter primates. Keepers kept forgetting to lock the orangutan exhibit, and when they would get there in the morning, five males would be posted outside. The head keeper got in his staff for being careless, but after this happened several more times, he was ready to put someone on unemployment. But it turned out one of the males named Fu Manchu found a piece of wire and hid it between his lips and gums, and when nobody was looking, he used it to pick the lock of his enclosure. Yo! <laughs> like I said, they are ridiculously smart. They are arguably the more, like, one of the more intelligent, intelligent primates out there. I would say Coco the gorilla is probably one of the smartest, if not the smartest primate that is at, like, it, you know, like, in terms of, you know, like, still feral primate. But I would say orangutans overall are are much smarter. That's just funny to me. Like, he knows everybody's gone for the day. He's just like... <laughs> all of a sudden he's just all of a sudden you see five five big big orange boys just hanging so out he just, outside he, like, he opens the door to this friend's cage and he's just like hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> look yeah and then you just, just hang out outside just like there's posted up all of a sudden the zookeepers walk in and they're just posted up like this like and they're just like what bro what? <laughs> what? what are you gonna do Walks up to the zookeeper like, 
Hey, bro. <laughs> just taunting him. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh. Then he proceeded to free all of his friends. It took zookeepers over a week in the threat of being fired to figure it out. Cougars are the biggest pushover of any cat. They're naturally afraid of people, but when comfortable, they'll seek out head scratches and belly rubs all while purring. Oh, They're basically no. giant house cats that could turn you into a headline if they wanted to. Secret zoos might not want you to know. Every zoo has a group of animals that are so dangerous they're kill on sight, meaning if they escape their enclosure or attack somebody, zookeepers are taught to take them out immediately. And surprisingly, a lot of big cats like lions and tigers aren't KOS because they would rather tranquilize and capture them. Even silverbacks are tranquilized first, but there's one animal that's kill on sight in basically every zoo. Chimpanzees, because not only are yes. they Yes, yes. Chimpanzees are ridiculous. Yeah. Metal maniacs are incredibly fast and strong. Tranquilizers only pissed them off. By the time it kicks in, they could have already chewed someone's face off. If one escapes, somebody has to die, and it's usually the chimp. Sloths can be incredibly vicious. They look innocent, but those jaws can inflict nasty injuries on animals and people. Tamarin was once harassing a three-toed sloth, which everyone thought was cute, until the sloth clamped its jaws around the monkey's face. By the time keepers broke it up, the monkey had an eyeball hanging out of its socket, and the sloth was covered in blood that wasn't his. Tortoises are Damn. against no reason. Sometimes people are enclosure, they'll block off the exit by sitting in front of it. And since the Aldabra is 500 pounds of stubborn, you're not going anywhere. Boy. A lot of zoos have to rent pandas for a million dollars a year, and it takes another half a million to feed them. She doesn't even include medical Mr. and Kitty. enrichment costs. It can literally single-handedly bankrupt zoos. Kitty, come might not want to tell you, part six. The other a lot of too. animals in captivity become much worse parents because, honestly, zoo animals are just worse at being animals. In the wild, a mother may reject her baby due to drought or sickness. Zoo animals can reject them purely off vibes. Aww. Zoo animals also respond way worse to stress, and when a military jet flew over a Sweden zoo, the animals got so stressed and so pressed, they proceeded to tear apart and eat 23 or their bait. Jesus oh, Christ. Zoos don't buy or sell animals from each other. Instead, they trade like cards. For example, if you think you would like this big horn <laughs> puppy, it'd probably cost you about 20 penguins. Two lion cubs could set you back one grand zebra. And if you have more baby giraffes than you can handle, you could trade him in for a Burmese python, a red-tailed hawk, and a miniature pig. Most zoos are strongly against putting Many price tags on animals because it can encourage Come poaching. Me. Except these guys. These bastards are too expensive to trade. Animal escapes are pretty rare, but when a major one happens, everyone basically readjusts their fences and enclosures. Kind of like how in class everybody will change their answers if one kid gets it wrong. A lot of zoos yeah. had to readjust their tiger enclosures because three idiots decided to taunt one and that tiger proceeded to yeet itself over a wall. Can't yeah. blame the tiger though, sometimes natural selection comes with a free meal. Things zookeepers yes. might not want to tell you. You probably shouldn't work with your favorite animal for the same reason you shouldn't share an apartment with your best friend. After one week, it'll change everything you thought you knew about them. You like penguins? They smell like Satan's locker and snap and bite at your shins every time you feed them. You like tigers? Tiger poop is one of the worst smelling things you'll ever live through. You like elephants? Give one an enema, and I swear next day you'll be at. Oh animal. no! Being a zookeeper isn't. Oh! You just hear the like a cork popping on a champagne bottle. <sighs> just playing with animals all day—it's incredibly difficult and ridiculously demanding. They work well over 40 hours a week and often have to sleep at zoos just so they can respond to any emergencies. You go through years of training, applications, and hours of interning, all for a starting salary of about less than $30,000. And when you take that much for that little, you're a different breed. But they're so dedicated to the animals that it's worth it. But if you personally know a zookeeper, tell them you appreciate them. Lord knows they don't hear it enough. Out of all the animals, the most dangerous and the ones zookeepers hate working with the most are the ones outside the cage. No other animal causes <laughs> or higher blood pressure than a hairless primate armed with an iPhone and a sense of entitlement. Mm -hmm. Yes. Kids, stop thinking that you are there for entertain or that the animals are there for your entertainment. They're there to be observed, not so that you can make a TikTok. Sean is like, isn't this isn't this cat so fucking dumb? Look how big this stupid cat is. Hey, I'm gonna toss the rock at the cat. And then all of a sudden that cat comes like reaches his claw through there and slices your freaking arm open. And he's like, I don't understand. I'm gonna sue this place for rec for for it being a danger to me. It's like, ma'am, did you throw and then anything? And they put the cat down for hurting yeah. you when you're the fucking asshole. And then all of a sudden you're you next thing you know, you go on your your TikTok or your Instagram and you're just like it's like it's like I just wanna let everyone know after the attack I was treated horribly by the, by the zoo staff. They they accused me of abusing the animal. I I I do not have an abusive bone in my body. And then all of a sudden the footage comes out of her chucking the rock at the freaking tiger and they're just like You were saying? And she and then all of a sudden she just deletes everything. She just uh, and a tiger, and now a cat is dead. A big cat is dead because of the dumb bitch.
Most zookeepers agree if you kept the animals at It'd be funny if it weren't true, probably. No, no, I know. That's that's the sad thing. That story would most definitely play out that way. 100%. She'd be TikTok famous for like a week, and then she'd delete everything, you know, collect the paycheck off of it, and then just never be heard from again. Are fun, and I don't blame them for thinking that. Animal facts you definitely wouldn't know unless you worked at a zoo. Walruses are really talented at baiting. In fact, you, you could say they're master baits. <laughs> they do it a lot. You're probably wondering how a walrus does this. Well, there's two options. One, they slap themselves with their flippers, or two, they're flexible enough to self-service themselves with their mouth. And if you've seen a walrus, you've probably seen one do this. Bonobos will go at also, it doesn't, it also, it doesn't hurt the fact that walruses have the second largest, on average, like, unit of, of like, aquatic animals. Out of their way to are you sure about that? Well, because there are hold on, hold orcas, on. sperm whales. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, of all mammals, not just aquatic animals, all mammals. Uh, I guess that must be really big then, because like, there's at least a couple other mammals in the ocean that are bigger than Walra. Well, in terms of the portion of the size of its body, yes. I know it's not actually Walra, but it's just... Walruses, Walruses wal sounds goofy. It may as well be Walra, you know. Up to 20 million. God damn! Woo! That is... Oh! <laughs> just, just... Okay, alright. ...crowd of people around them and then start spontaneously having s*** in front of the audience. Yes. They do it on purpose, I don't know why, but literally the more people are around, the more likely they are to ruin the innocence of any child watching. Tigers can't purr, so to show affection, they'll do the same slow blink that your cat does to tell you he loves you. Oh. Tigers share 95% of their DNA with domestic cats, which makes sense because they're basically house cats on steroids. They'll cuddle up to their favorite keepers, play hide and seek with them, and of course give them that famous love blink. Tigers are soft. A lot of animals get lonely during the winter because there's less visitors and they're used to seeing people. This usually happens with higher intelligence animals like elephants, primates, and parrots like the African Grey. During COVID, one zoo brought painters into the monkey house just so the monkeys would feel less alone. One Japanese zoo asked people to FaceTime the eels just so they wouldn't forget about people. Top three dumbest things to ever happen at a zoo and no number one is not what you think it is in 2009 a woman decided to take a flash pass to jesus by jumping into the polar bear exhibit in a berlin zoo she i mean i guess that'll do it did she live she proceeded to get mauled by four of the biggest carnivores on the planet at one point zookeepers were able to pull her out of the pool but of course she fell right back in she also did this during the polar bear's feeding time. Apparently, she lost her teaching job and was so depressed that she decided to factory reset her life one of the worst ways possible. Blue keepers were actually seconds away from shooting the bears just to save her. Luckily, she and the polar bears lived. In 2007, Ow. damn. Francisco, three dumbasses who will not be named, decided to taunt Tatiana the Siberian Tiger just to see what would happen. What happened was she decided to make the census three names lighter. Motivated by malice, Tatiana jumped over a nearly 13-foot wall and violated all three, murking one and severely injuring the other two. Damn. Damn. Today. Talk shit, get hit, fuckers. That's what happens. It was true back then. If you're young and dumb, you will get paid. And after getting sued, the zoo had to pay a 900,000 stupid tax to the brothers. Number wow. one is an act... That's when, I'm sorry, but the Chris Porter, are you shitting me law would have to come in. I was like, your honor, these three men, oh, I'm sorry, these two men and their friend who's not here anymore, decided to start doing dumb shit to a gigantic striped beast of a tiger. So I got something to ask you, your honor. Are you shitting me? Like that That's a are you shitting me like argument right there. Actually this. Because in 2012 a mother lifted her son over a railing to get a better look at the animals. He then dropped the two-year-old into the African wild dog exhibit. He survived the fall, but not the dogs. And if you know how African wild dogs hunt prey, you know this was very bad. On top of all that, the mother sued the Pittsburgh Zoo for negligence. 
I hope she got nothing. I hope the Pittsburgh Zoo sued the mother for negligence. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, the victim here is a little boy because nobody deserves that. But um, yeah, the railing's there for a fucking reason. Remor yes. Mm -hmm. The railing is there for a reason, and the fact that you lifted your child, your two-year-old child, over top. It's like that lady should seriously be in jail for murder. Yes, or at least reckless endangerment. Four of the dumbest things ever happen at a zoo, and number one will make you feel some type of way. In 2017, a man decided he didn't want to pay the price of admission to get into a zoo and instead scaled a 10 foot wall to get in. And best believe a price was paid. Because my man's ended up in the living room of three of the biggest big cats on the planet. The man was brutally mauled in front of four or five oh. guests, and I like to think the last thing that went through his head, other than, you know, the tiger's teeth, was if it was really worth it. You can't put a price it on life, but this man gambled his entire way of being over $19. Nineteen dollars. Nineteen dollars. You dumb as hell. Also, one of the tigers died over his stupidity. At number two, you probably know exactly Great. where this is going. Another dumbass who will not be named was a regular at a Netherlands zoo, and she had a habit of smiling at the gorillas and making eye contact, even though trained zookeepers told her not to. She ignored them and said that she had a special bond with the gorillas since they always smiled back. Basically, she pulled a, trust me, I know him, he'll listen to me. Remember what we talked about, this isn't you. Yeah, she played pick me with a 400 pound gorilla and one day Bakito woke up and chose Muralax because he wasn't taking no shit. Bakito escaped, beat the woman like she stole something from him and then broke into a restaurant. And number one in 1987 <laughs> at Prospect Park Zoo broke in a couple boys. He had to go get life. some snacks after he got done beating that ass. Yeah, he was just like, he was just like, don't smile at me. I'm gonna go get a hot dog. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Woman <laughs> Whose exhibit, you ask? Well, originally they planned on swimming in a sea lion pool, but somewhere along the line they decided they just didn't value their lives. They went into the polar bear den. What happened Again. to 900 pound murder bears proceeded to play tug of war with the 11 year old's body. Police came and shot the bears, but the boy was already past tense. Did I mention this was all because of a dare? It was a. Jesus Christ. Truth or dare? Truth. You're an asshat. The tragic, senseless, avoidable death that never should have happened. May those polar bears rest in peace. As for the boy, he can rest in pieces. That's fair. That's fair. <coughs> so, yeah. I like the beginning half of the video, but the last two were depressing. Yeah. It's the, it's, literally, we were talking about that story and like got riled up because we did it to ourselves and then the end of the video was exactly what like, we, were, what we talking were talking about, about. yeah <laughs> like, god damn god. people Just, are dumb i fucking wish that common sense was actually common you know what i mean i wish that common sense yeah i wish common sense could be given as like an injection and if someone was like, I would gladly it. like donate, like if it was like a thing like blood cells, you know, like I can donate my blood and then I can make more of it. I would gladly donate common sense to people if I could do that. Like, yeah. Because it's just, I wish people would just fucking act right. <laughs> like, know what I mean? No. Like, the world would be such a better place if everybody would just act right. No, no I, I agree. There's so many people that just don't fucking know how. They don't. Like, it and kills they me. they never will. Yeah. They will never act right. Instead, people are just going to keep acting stupid, and shit is just going to keep hitting the fan, and and innocent lives are going to be lost. It's very sad. Yes. Extremely sad. It doesn't have to be like that. It doesn't, but it is. Oh, God. So, anyway, that was uh, Casual Geographic. Animal Secrets. Hmm. Zoos don't want you to know. And hopefully this was a good lesson for all of y'all out there. And if you want to see more from Casual Geographic, feel free to leave a uh, feel free to leave a like on this video and also uh, check out his name in the title of the video where you can actually go to his channel. And uh, until next time everybody, signing off. I'm Nate. I am Nick. See you later. <laughs>